Do you think Jordan would have respected you in the manner that he did if you weren't a former athlete coming to him, Ahmad? No, I don't think so. And you know what, Rich? I think that a lot of the guys would have felt the same way. It's because NBC had not been doing basketball. Then all of a sudden we got the franchise to do basketball. And the guy that they sort of put in uh, from NBC to put in place at the NBA was me. Mm Mm-hmm. You know, so we were, you know, we were trying to do things to show that we were knowledgeable about basketball by by uh, doing uh, Magic Johnson's uh, mid number midsummer night's dream. We did that just to sort of introduce ourselves to those guys. But I always felt like I got the same sort of reception from all the players. So, uh, when was the first time you met Jordan? What was the first time you met him, shook his hand, covered him, or something like that? The first time I met him was at that Midsummer Night's Dream game out there in L.A. Mm-hmm. And we just had, there were all, you know, that was, a, that was a time where guys would play in these all-star games during the summer, and it was a real game. You know, it wasn't like they were out there like Globetrotters or something. They actually really were playing with egos involved. So that was the first time I had met him then, and we just sort of met after the game, talked and exchanged phone numbers, and saw the rest in terms of how our, our relationship developed, it developed from that. Well, I mean, if there's one thing that it, anybody learned from this documentary is that n- anything that Jordan ever played in wasn't just a regular game, right? I mean, that was a real, no, uh, you know, that's one thing that, and, <laughs> that that I'm sure if anybody needed to be introduced to Jordan, and there's a whole there's a whole generation that, that did, they, they just learned that. And I've asked this question of every single person, uh, who we've had on this show that either appeared in The Last Dance or, or has a working knowledge or having covered or, or is friendly with anybody on the team. Uh, I, I asked this question of you, too. Did you learn anything from The Last Dance, Ahmad Rashad? No, I didn't. <laughs> uh, I didn't because I think, you know, it's like you said when you introduced me, I had a catbird seat to all of it. And it was one of those uh, different sort of – I've never sort of been in a situation where I had sort of free access to the locker room, you know, to the training room, to their buses, to I was just there. So I got a chance to see a lot of those things. But, you know, as a former athlete, I sort of knew about a lot of them, too. And this was just a little bit closer because there wasn't that many people. Uh, but, no, I didn't, I didn't see anything that surprised me. I was glad that people got a chance to see the human side of Michael. And you see how much, how competitive he was and how demanding he was. And I think what I, what I take from that is, if you think Larry Bird wasn't like that, and if you think Magic Johnson wasn't like that, then you're not really thinking the right way. So it wasn't just Michael that was just, a, you know, win at all costs, put your foot on the guy's neck kind of thing. All these guys were able to do that, but Michael, what separated him was his athletic ability was way above anybody's at that point. So that's, you know, what you saw. But that hard driving leadership thing, I think Magic had that, and I think Larry Bird had that, and I, you know, there's a lot of guys you can sort of go through the league and, that had that same sort of um, lust for <laughs> winning. Well, we had Shaq on yesterday, Ahmad, and uh, the sweetheart that Shaq is, uh, and I enjoyed seeing on Twitter this past week of uh, him breaking a backboard on Inside Stuff with you. Uh, it was great seeing that <laughs> from back in that day. A nice little stroll down memory lane there. We had the sweetheart Shaq on yesterday, and I asked him about the subject of Jordan's demeanor and, and, and his hard driving uh, that uh, some of his teammates would uh, grind his gears, and he was insulted. He's like, you don't think I was that way? I mean, that's, he has, right. that's exactly what he said. When I brought that up with him, yeah, and it and it is and it's in all sports. When you see guys that you know, you see Tom Brady who who smiles and looks like such a nice guy. I guarantee you, he is riding them dudes to death on a weekly on a weekly basis. That's just the way that is. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here. 